no Pokemon Go in the genocide. So we just arrived yesterday in Phnom Penh. We stayed out here just in a hostel. Now we're going to head over to an Airbnb that we're going to check out, see if it's any good, and uh, stay there for a couple of nights. And then we've got some interesting things planned this afternoon. So we're going to head out over there, grab a tuk-tuk. So uh, yeah, let's get out of here. So we're just having a quick French style breakfast here and it's quite interesting how there's that French influence here in Cambodia much like in the neighboring countries of Laos and Vietnam and that's actually the part of this story that I want to begin with is talking about the history of Cambodia because I think to understand a country it's it's important to look at the history and if you want to know what it's like to come out and live here you have to understand what this country's been through and, um, and I think that really is a great motivation for coming out here to understand the struggles that this country's had and then how you can make a difference towards actually bettering this country so I, I want to get into that a little bit and right now we're going to head out to the killing fields so this is going to be very interesting um, dig a little bit into what happened here in this country and um, yeah show you a bit of that and then you know we can get onto some more of the the benefits and the great uh, you know the upsides of living out here but uh, I think it's important to show you guys a little bit about this and yeah let's go do that and uh, I'll speak to you when we get there oh I guess I see you somewhere around All right, I'm here at the Killing Fields, the Genocide Center, and I'm just going through this audio. So as you can see, I've got this uh, audio guide, and I just listened to the first section of it. The Khmer Rouge by Pol Pot um, was, happened here in Cambodia in the 1970s and over 3 million people out of an 8 million population were killed during that period in a, a three year period. Uh, absolutely horrific and that was all in the name of communism. Uh, the Rouge came in and basically took over, uh, forced everyone out of the cities and sent them to, I think it was called farm camps, something like that. You know, I started to understand how the people of Cambodia were so affected by this because uh, basically the entire generation was wiped out. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and listen to a little bit more and then I'll check back in with you guys. So the reason this place is called the Killing Fields is because this is where a large number of people were taken to be executed. And right behind me there, you can actually see one of the mass graves where 
450 people are buried. And apparently there's fragments of bone and clothing all over here. And this was just one of many of these killing fields and these um, execution camps. And uh, wow, it's, it's really quite powerful hearing the, the stories of some of the people that escaped and just relating the experiences of it. So quite honestly, I didn't think I would be that affected by this place. However, when I got to the part of the audio tower behind me, that tree you see behind me is called the Killing Tree. And that's where 100 women and children were killed and buried in that grave. I mean, I'm sure more were even killed by essentially having their heads smashed against the tree. And this included babies. Um, and the reason, according to the tour audio, was is that it's just the quickest and most effective way of doing it. One of the things that happened was all intellectuals or teachers and anyone who didn't fit a specific type were just killed. Um, so yeah, that, that, that tree is it's really, really got to me a little bit. All right, and then lastly, we have the stupa here, which houses 9,000 skulls, as well as other bones. And this is just one of 300 killing fields in Cambodia. Whew, hectic stuff. So, one of the things that I, I took away from this and, you know, just bringing it back to, you know, the, the point of this video, I mean, this, this whole place deserves its own time and thoughts but you know that what I was wanting to get at coming out here is, is why the country is in the state it is in and that is that there are a lot of young people because the whole older generation got basically wiped out and there are a lot of issues out here you know obviously the, the country's had to grow in years since this happened in the 70s and essentially, there's a really big demand for the youth to be educated now because, like I mentioned, one of the things that Pol Pot did was wipe out all, all the teachers, all the educators. And so education has been a problem out here, you know, and they need teachers and they need people to you know, come in here and, and help out and educate the youth and give them a better future. So, I mean, there's a lot to take away from this and, you know, that's just one small thing, but it is related to what I, I wanted to get from this experience and help you guys understand about Cambodia and about what is behind this nation and you know the people here are so nice so it's very hard to understand exactly how one man was so evil basically and um, you know had these ideologies that wiped out a whole nation and uh, yeah I, th I think this country is, is beautiful and it's got a lot to you know it's got a lot of growth that can go through and I'm looking forward to seeing that and and hopefully being a, a bit of a part of that you know helping out with the education here by by helping you guys come out here and starting to teach English so I'm gonna get out of here because it's starting to rain so let's go